Hello, and welcome to another Cervantes Fast Class. I'm Jessica, a CRM technical consultant. Today, we're extending our conversation from our previous class on tracking various items to record timelines in CRM, wherein we focused on the system side of tracking. Now we're going to look at the other side of things, how we get things from Outlook to sync and show up within CRM. Drop any questions in the chat as we go so my fellow consultants can address them during the class. Most employees have their email open, most if not all day, and they are constantly working within that window or application. You can do a lot of work with CRM through Outlook, and this improves your work efficiency by not having to pop around from application to application or to have to duplicate information from one system and another. You may even be able to avoid going into CRM for a day or more at a time because of these tracking activities, which can be immensely helpful to people who are not technically inclined or who would prefer to use as few apps as possible when they can, as well as lower level CRM users who just don't do all that much in the system. There are uses beyond this as well. Logistically, it's best to have all your client communications and activities stored in one central location, easily accessible by anyone who needs that data. You don't want to track down a colleague to get their debrief on their last meeting with a client, nor do you want to ask them to forward email communication and then have to keep track of that in your own over full box. And beyond those logistics, there are customer benefits. Having a well-rounded and complete view of your interactions as a business with the leads and customers is paramount to being able to serve them to the best of your ability. Imagine talking to a sales team and every time you talk to a different member, you have to reiterate what you said last time or your basic details like product requirements or contact information. We've all had that horrible customer service experience. How frustrating. You probably don't feel too valued, like just one of many clients they are trying to juggle and you get lost in the shuffle. But what if every member of your team knows what's going on, what you talked to their colleague about last time, and maybe they even remember some details about your personal life, like a kid's name you shared with them a few meetings ago. Wow, what a change. Who are you more likely to feel cares about you and then do business with? So let's dig in and practice by tracking a couple things, an email from a contact to a contact and an appointment to a case. So here I have an email that I would like to track to one of my contacts. Uh, I can access the add-in by clicking on those three dots. A note about this admin is that it must be deployed by your admin within Dynamics 365. There is an alternative out there you can get from the app store, but that is not the right one, not the one you want to be using. So here we can set regarding to different types of records, and this can be customizable. In this situation, we are gonna track to contacts. I can start typing the name of my contact and choose from the list. And here it says track pending, which means it's not quite in CRM yet. And in this situation, it's because I haven't hit send. Um, it can also take a few minutes for that sync to happen over to CRM too. But let's say here that I made a mistake and I need to change the regarding to a different contact. I can do that here. And I can also untrack it if I've decided this is, an, is not an email that I want to show up in CRM. But we did this one right and we can click send. Now I am in my sent items folder here. I want confirmation that that email did indeed get tracked. So it says tracked regarding here. And you can also you know, change regarding at this point or untrack at this point. And we can also view that email in Dynamics directly from that add-in. Here's that email and here's that regarding that contact. 
And you can see that that email has shown up in the timeline here. So now anyone who is working with ECHO going forward knows that we have exchanged emails at this point. One neat thing about Dynamics is you can convert an email to an opportunity, to a case, or to a lead. So this, again, can help with your efficiency uh, working with clients. Now let's head over to the calendar and we can track an appointment to a case. Okay, so here we are in my calendar. I wanna track this appointment to a case. I'm gonna open this up here, click on those three dots to open my add-in. And this time from records here, we will choose cases. And I'm looking for damaged squeaky toy. There we go. It's processing. And there we go, it's tracked successfully to Dynamics. And you're given the same options here to change that regarding or untrack if you made a mistake. And let's view that in Dynamics. Here's that appointment record in Dynamics and the regarding is the case. And we can see that it's populated here in the timeline. So anyone working on this case going forward will know that I have tracked time to the case, that I have put some work into it and I have met with the client. Uh, the last thing I'd like to show you is at personalization settings here, we have the ability to customize what records are syncing and in what direction. You can see here, you can sync multiple fields from Outlook and Dynamics, and you can choose in which direction they sync, from Outlook to Dynamics, from Dynamics to Outlook, and both ways or not at all. So for example, maybe you don't want to sync those attachments over to Dynamics to keep that database clean and you instead decide to you know keep those attachments in your email or pull them onto your hard drive or what have you and your ad administrators can help you decide you know what makes the most sense for your for your business microsoft makes a concerted effort to connect their systems to help you use each one better and more efficiently Connecting Outlook to CRM via the Dynamics 365 add-in will make a lot less work for you and help anyone in your business working with clients to do their job better. And of course, your customers will feel the value you place in them, their time, and their needs. All of this from a free add-in. We really hope you try it out. And if you need assistance with the setup, let us know. We are happy to help. Please let us know what other topics you'd like to in FAST classes by heading to the past classes area of the FAST class community. Next week, we're hopping back into Dynamics 365 Marketing to discuss its social media marketing capabilities. Thanks and have a great week.